paralysis may one day be as simple to cure as a single medication injection. The first of its kind treatment, described in a report published this week in the journal Science, is a complicated process involving dancing molecules, electrical signals, and sprouting blood vessels. There are currently no treatments available to reverse paralysis, and spinal cord injuries do not recover on their own. As a result, patients rely on anti-inflammatory medications and physical therapy to alleviate pain and mend minor injuries. After a 40-year career as a scientist, Samuel Stubb didn't expect many surprises inside his lab. Scientists at Northwestern University cured paralysis in mice with spinal cord injuries by injecting them with a self-assembling gel that can mend tissues. But then something remarkable happened. His Northwestern University research team discovered an injectable that prevented rats with spinal cord damage from becoming paralyzed. So, for today's video, let's now do our experiment about what this injectable gel, reversed paralysis in mice and humans, could be next. But before we get into it, do me a favor and smash the like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button for notifications whenever a new video is published. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Dancing molecules aid in the healing and regeneration of cells. Axons, which are the long tails of neurons that convey electrical impulses directing the body to feel or move, can be damaged or severed by a spinal cord injury. Scar tissue forms after an injury, limiting axon regeneration, which is why people become chronically paralyzed. In mice, Stubbs' treatment decreased scar tissue while simultaneously regenerating axons. It also helped axons develop by regenerating myelin, a fatty covering that covers axons and acts like insulation around electrical cables. It also triggered the body's production of blood vessels, which are required for cells to heal themselves. In the study, mice with spinal injuries were able to walk again after four weeks of therapy. The medicine is given as a liquid injection the next day following the injury. Each microscopic fiber in that liquid is made up of hundreds of thousands of molecules bound together. When the liquid comes into contact with the fibers in the spinal cord, it forms a gel. Once the medication is injected into the body, it may begin its primary function, guiding cells to repair and renew themselves. By altering the amino acid chains of the molecules, Stubbs' research team programmed them to move or dance. This boosted the chances of the chemicals interacting with cell receptors, which are proteins that detect the body's electrical signals. This experimental gel is intended to function as a framework for cells in the spinal cord, allowing them to grow more easily. It's made up of individual protein units that can automatically link together in water to form lengthy chains. A network of these chains can imitate the extracellular matrix of the spinal cord within the body, giving cells a framework to develop on. When these molecules come into contact with cell receptors, they cause axons to renew, myelin to rebuild, and blood vessels to sprout. The therapy appeared to be more effective in avoiding paralysis the more the molecules danced. According to Stubb, the dancing molecules represent a real finding for any form of illness therapy. They might eventually be utilized to repair tissues in other sections of the central nervous system, he added. This shows that comparable medications may be useful in the treatments of strokes and neurodegenerative illnesses such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. But first, Stupp must show that the spinal cord therapy is effective in humans. Because humans are not mice, the outcomes of successful animal research seldom apply to humans. According to Stupp, he expects to present his findings to the Food and Drug Administration in early 2022. If the FDA approves the medicine, Stubb believes it would go straight to human trials, maybe those with severe spinal cord injuries for whom no other therapies are available. Because the medicine is primarily made up of chemicals present naturally in the body, such as lipids and amino acids, he is hopeful that it will be safe in people. It's also biodegradable, which means it's readily broken down by the body. 
The treatment is practically gone after a few weeks, Stupp explained. It biodegrades into cellular nutrition. Stupp added that the treatment appears to have long-lasting effect, despite the fact that researchers only observed the mice for 12 weeks after the injection. He also suggested that the gel could be used to help repair brain tissue damaged by strokes or neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. That concludes our video. So, do you think this medicine will be the solution for those who have spinal cord injuries? What do you think about the medicine itself? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe, and bell the notifications of our future content. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.